sans ingrédients chimiques, 100% naturel, sans sulfate, sans phénoxyéthanol, sans parabène, non testé sur les animaux. Et si tout ça n'était qu'une arnaque Si toi aussi tu scannes tes produits, t'es sur la bonne vidéo. Hello, moi c'est Myriam, je travaille en laboratoire pharmaceutique et sur mes réseaux sociaux, je vulgarise la cosmétique. On va démêler le vrai du faux grâce à la science. Et pour ça, j'ai interviewé l'équipe des CIEM avec 10 questions pour savoir ce qu'il en était. C'est parti Hi Miriam, hi everyone, uh, glad to be here. My name is Rita and I'm a science communications associate at Desium. A chemical is any substance with a definite composition and all matter is made up of chemicals. For example, a simple combination of one atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen gives us H2O, which is the chemical formula for water. In this context, water is a chemical. To put it simply, no. Products are made up of matter that we can touch, see, smell, meaning that um, they are made up of chemicals, whether these are of what may be defined as a natural origin or synthesized in a lab. So not everything is made up of chemicals, but almost. <laughs> For example, sound is not made up of chemicals, but sound waves require the presence of matter, meaning chemicals, to propagate, so that we may hear them. First, it is really important to know that all matter is made up of chemicals. Even a cold pressed oil um, that is you know, extracted in a very natural manner has a chemical composition. This can include fatty acids, polyphenols, vitamins. Um, however, it may be classified as a natural product due to its origin and processing method. It depends. Um, use whatever product meets your needs and uh, provides you with a pleasant user experience. There is really no universally better choice as no two humans are the same. So use whatever you prefer. All cosmetic products must be deemed safe prior to their placement in the market, according to cosmetic regulations worldwide. Dangerous products um, are really not found in the industry. They are found when they are manufactured without considering local and global regulations. For example, you know, counterfeit products. And this is why we urge everyone to buy products from the sources and from authorized retailers. ingredients such as parabens, silicones, fragrance, and even phenoxyethanol. All of these have to be approved for use in cosmetics, uh, so they can be used in the products, and they should be deemed as safe for human health. Um, some of these ingredients, such as parabens or phenoxyethanol, have been widely studied due to uh, consumer concerns, so they actually have a very strict restrictions put in place, for example, in the EU. Um, to control the amount included in formulation. And in the concentrations allowed to be included in cosmetics, these ingredients do not pose a danger to human health. And these are concentrations that are calculated using very conservative thresholds, and they take into account not only the mode of exposure, but also um, how often consumers may come into contact with these ingredients, this happens on a daily basis, and how often and over the course of their lives. Uh, so cumulative exposure is really taken into consideration. And there are oftentimes hundreds of studies used to create this um, opinion against the very few cherry-picked studies that are used in fear-mongering marketing. Um, so fear mongering really relies on picking one study or even one sentence out of a study. So the unclear definition of clean beauty directly contradicts Sassian's key values of authenticity and transparency by encouraging marketing to lead over very clear science. And uh, while more recent approaches to clean beauty are bringing a focus on the product's impact on the environment, for example, It really started with the premise of challenging the safety and efficacy of products not deemed clean by indirectly labeling them as dirty. Uh, and this just regards the important work of scientists around the world 
that are really making a monumental effort to evaluate the complete body of evidence to formulate products, not just one cherry-picked study. And this has led to a true misunderstanding of the concept of toxic, um, something that we hope we can help our consumers understand better. Greenwashing is an issue within the industry, uh, but it is not exclusive to clean beauty. Greenwashing is basically highlighting company practices as very sustainable, very environmentally friendly, while lacking transparency in other practices that may be less than sustainable. And an example of greenwashing would be claiming to not use petrochemicals, which is good, uh, but then having a green alternative that actually causes a bigger impact on the environment. For example, through the water that it needs to grow a crop, the impact on the land, on the habitat of native species, and really its impact of biodiversity. Those are just a few examples. Uh, not all clean beauty brands are responsible for this uh, because clean beauty does not have official guidelines, but it is an issue in the industry. Uh, yes, absolutely. There are laws which are put in place uh, as an obligation on the manufacturers or brands to place safe products in the market. So uh, cosmetic products must be safe uh, by law to comply with regulatory requirements and they are being held to very high standards which are under constant revision as you know scientific knowledge is ever evolving so these need to be updated. So safety assessors around the world rely on the expertise of scientific committees to ensure the safety of ingredients and they also take into consideration all existing evidence on the toxicological profile of each ingredient. So uh, brands are also expected to evaluate this complete body of work um, relating to each ingredient in the formulation uh, and then they have to take into consideration topical but also systemic exposure and also cumulative effect of multiple products containing uh, those ingredients over the course of a person's life. Chemical free does not exist where matter is present, meaning that a chemical free cosmetic product is just not possible. Uh, on the other hand, non-toxic is a more complex matter. We can't say that there are no toxic products in a market, as humans have been known to make mistakes before, knowingly on or unknowingly. But what is important to note is that toxic products should not exist, and all companies are responsible for ensuring that products are non-toxic. Um, toxic products are illegal, and can and by claiming um, you know to offer non-toxic products, brands are basically saying we follow the law. Uh, but in a less transparent way. And all brands should do their due diligence to ensure um, the safety of the consumers while also understanding the latest research regarding the safety of ingredients. So non-toxic should not be used as a marketing claim because all cosmetic products must be non-toxic. Toxicity needs to be better understood as a concept dependent on many variables. And for this reason, Desiem's own scientific team has been working on a super exciting campaign called Everything is Chemicals to bring awareness to what can be perceived as fear-mongering within the industry. We really want to demystify chemistry and the concept of toxic. Our goal uh, was to shed some light on the subject of ingredient and product safety, um, really from a scientifically sound perspective that encompasses both the principles of toxicology and also the basis of regulatory requirements and the regulations that are out there to protect us. And you can access all the resources we've created on our platforms should you wish to better understand the chemistry of the world around you uh, and empower your own research on skincare. Thank you. Thank you, Rita. Vous l'aurez compris, tout est chimique. Et en fait, c'est pas quelque chose de mal, c'est un langage. La chimie est un langage pour nous permettre de comprendre ce qui se passe d'un point de vue atomique et ionique. Par exemple, ça, c'est de l'eau en français. En anglais, c'est water. Mais en chimie, c'est H2O, deux molécules d'hydrogène et une d'oxygène, tout simplement. C'est quelque chose de naturel et pourtant on peut la traduire chimiquement. Chimique ne veut donc pas dire toxique, attention. Et la différence, c'est plutôt synthétique versus naturel. Synthétique, c'est quand c'est fabriqué par l'homme 
et naturel, c'est quand c'est issu de la nature. Et pas besoin de choisir un camp. En fait, les deux se complètent très très bien pour créer par exemple des soins super efficaces. Donc, à moins d'avoir des particularités cutanées, laissez tomber vos applications de scan. Mais choisissez plutôt vos cosmétiques par rapport à votre budget, à vos besoins et l'affinité avec la marque. Et encore, bravo à DCM pour avoir créé une super campagne Everything is Chemicals pour vous expliquer que justement, il n'y avait pas de danger dans les cosmétiques et que tout était chimique, même la clean beauty, même le naturel. C'était Myriam, aussi connue sous le nom de Missy Jim. Je travaille en laboratoire pharmaceutique et sur mes réseaux. Je parle de cosmétiques, je la vulgarise. Si tu veux en savoir plus sur ta peau, abonne-toi.